Hi guys, so going to show you how to manipulate and edit your photographs in Photoshop and the style of this artist here. So we're going to create almost a melted face effect. So the first thing I'm going to do is drag my photograph into Photoshop. I've just used a stock image here. And before you do anything, we want to duplicate this layer so that if we make any changes and we want to go back, I can do that. So I'm just working on this layer. Now, really, really easy. We're just going to go into Filter, down to Liquify, and then we just need to use this little tool here. So it's almost as if we are pushing the photo around using the Forward Warp tool. You can experiment with the size of the brush. You can also change the direction depending on where you want it to be warped. If I want it to be smaller, again, you can see it's making really kind of small changes there, again, depending on how small you want your lines to be. Only problem with this, so you can go straight in with your picture and it will pull everything from the kind of top of his head all the way down his neck and his clothes. If, however, I'm just going to cancel that, if we want to create almost a melted face effect, then the first thing I want to do is copy that section. So I'm going to do that by using the lasso tool. So it's just on the left hand side here. Again, you can be really quite rough with this because of the style um, that it's going to be with the melted face. I'm just going to select that area there. I am going to copy and paste. So you can see now that this is the section that I have. So I've got my background and then I have my layer here. So the only thing that I will be able to liquefy is this little section here. So it means that when I have this layer liquefied and over this bottom one, that his hair will be in focus and not distorted and the same with his clothes. And so I'm just going to show you how to do that here. So again, it's just back into liquefy. You can see this is the only um, area that we're going to be able to liquefy. I'm going to make my brush a little bit bigger. And again, depending on the look that you want to go for, might make my brush just a little bit smaller. I can also zoom in. So you can keep pulling out certain areas if you want some that are slightly smaller. So you can really customise the size and even the density of your brush. As you can see, I can really pull that out. So again, play about with an experiment how you want to manipulate your image. Once you're happy with it, you are just going to click OK and then as you can see there everything else is pretty much in focus apart from my liquefied face here. So again it depends on if you want to liquefy the whole area of your image or just a specific section.